Hey guys, what is up? Plastic Guy here, coming with another figure review. And today we're taking a look at the Spider Man into the Spider Verse Miles Morales Marvel Legends figure. And I am so happy I finally got this. I pre ordered this figure ages ago when it first got announced, and I've been waiting ever since to get them. I love the film, I love the character, and it looks like I'm going to love this figure. I previously looked at the Peter B. Parker figure from this wave earlier in the week, so if you haven't seen that, just hop on over to that video. Either now or when this video finishes, up to you. Ah, I just can't wait to get this guy out of the box and have a closer look. I've not took him out of the box yet, just seen him as he is right now, but he does look amazing. I only have one other Miles Morales figure in my collection, which is why I really wanted to get this figure here. Because I really hate the other figure and we'll take a look at that later on. The film and this character in that film is superb. If you haven't seen Into the Spider-Verse, it is on Netflix at the moment. Just watch it. It is so good. And I feel like it's a film that anyone can enjoy at any age. It is really great and as I said, this character is just fantastic. So I'm so glad to get him in figure form. I really like this look. And let's just take a closer look at this figure. So we'll take a closer look at the box first. And as just similar to the Peter B. Parker one, we've got the Into the Spider-Verse Miles logo here. Build the figure Stiltman. The display Marvel Legends logo up here. Movie logo, character. And then another great image here of the character. Same on this side. Haven't ripped this box though as uh, I did the last one. And then once again, same product image, but it's great background. Really like the artwork on these boxes. And we've got a wee character bio here. So if you want to read that, just hit the pause button. And then the other figures from the wave. So let's not wait any longer. Let's get Miles out of the box. So here we have Miles looking fantastic. Here is the Build-A-Figure piece that it comes with. I'm not quite sure what that part is, um, but that's what it is. And the, these are also the hands as well. So it's just the same hands that he's got put in. However, you can s change each one. So you can swap the fisted hand here for the flipping hand and then vice versa. Let's just take a closer look at Miles here. Oh, well, we'll just take a quick look at the head sculpt first. Interesting that it has a ball peg in the head, and all other Marvel Legends figures that I have at the moment, it's the ball peg attached to the body, and that's how you swap it over. So, interesting to see how it works here. I mean, I know how it's going to work, but just if there's any difference... Miles looks fantastic. I mean, I really love this head sculpt. The hair looks on point. Just a great likeness to the character in the film. Love the suit. I do hope we get a future release where it is just the generic suit because, I mean, any variation of this character I can get, I'm going to try and get my hands on it. But I do love this look. He sports this look quite a lot in the film. Uh, however, just a different Spidey costume. This is the costume he dons when he does his first proper swing as Spider-Man. Um, and that scene is just amazing. And uh, yeah, I just really like the look of this. The jacket and the hoodie under it. I do wish we kind of got a swappable hood like the homemade suit from Spider-Man Homecoming where we could put the hood over. But not a big deal. And I have also seen... Folk just using that hood anyway, so that is an option if you have that figure. I really like the shoes. Shorts look great, but the shoes are awesome. Just everything together combined just makes this figure look fantastic. I really like it. And what we'll just do now is quickly swap those heads over to see what that looks like. So there we go, really easy to do, uh, no problems. This figure's head, is, it seems a wee bit loose, but 
yeah not really an issue at all no problems so there we have his mast head sculpt on and yeah that looks great i really like it And here we have Miles next to the Peter B. Parker figure that we took a look at earlier on this channel. And yeah, these guys just look great together. I think the height difference is good. They just, oh, they capture the movie so well. Marvel Legends are just killing it at the moment. And these movie figures they're releasing are just on point. I'm so glad to have these two figures. And they just work really well with each other. The colours are fantastic. The sculpts are fantastic. It just looks like they're straight from the film. Yeah, really happy there. Another figure I want to take a look at is the only other Miles Morales figure in my collection. And as I said, I hate it. And it's this figure right here. I'll just try and get him to stand real quick. So, yeah, there we go. Um, this figure came around maybe 2012, I want to say. It was when The Amazing Spider-Man came out, and it was part of that Amazing Spider-Man movie wave. I do also have the Amazing Spider-Man movie figure, and I've previously said in videos, it is a bit of a weird figure, a weird sculpt. I just really like that costume, so I'm happy to have that figure. It just doesn't really work well with other Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures, and this figure especially does not work well <laughs> in any situation, in my opinion. I didn't have any Miles figures and I picked this up for, it was around £14 on Amazon at the time. And he's got this sort of hunch thing going on. I mean, as you've seen there, he's sort of the same height as Miles here. But it's because he's got some hunchback thing going on. And no offence to Hunchbacks, I just don't ever remember Miles having one in the comics or the films. Like, ah, oh, it's so weird looking and I just don't get why. <laughs> like, look at that. I do not understand why they sculpted this figure like this. The face is awful. Little sculpt in here. The eyes have got some, like, golden shine to them. It just looks odd. Like, the face just looks odd. I don't know. The eyes are really big, but they're just not sculpted at all. It's just kind of slapped on there. So, I mean, that is what it is. This part, like, the design isn't too bad. But then, like, there's nothing going on, which is why I'm glad we've got this figure here where you've got the shoes and the shorts. It really pops. Really interesting figure, let alone character. I mean, obviously, the figure's made from the character in the film, but I, I mean, I'm glad they went for this look, you know? We've got an exciting look, whereas, I mean, I, I get that this is meant to be a comic look, and I hope they do release another comic look from this film, but this is just crud. I mean, ugh, the sculpting is horrific. I mean, you've got the balls here just blatantly sticking out. No paint at all in the bottom half. And it's just clunky, it's awful. I know I'm ranting, but I've been wanting to rant about this figure for years. We don't even get interchangeable hands, and there's no whipping hands. Like, a Spider-Man figure needs a, th a, th a whipping hand, and this just doesn't have one. I mean, I mean that's all right, the paint work here, but maybe I'm... I don't know. I, I was going to say maybe I'm overthinking it, but I just hate this figure, and it is my opinion. If you like this figure, I mean, no harm to you. It's just, I hate it. But rant over. Let's get into the articulation of this guy. The brand new, lovely Miles figure that is now taking my mind off that old rubbish one. Miles can look up that much. He can look down this much. He will rotate left and right. You can rotate his head right round as well. His arm sticks up about that much. Down, backwards. Get him moving forwards. 
and you can rotate that right the way around as well. He's got just a single jointed elbow there and you can move his arms, uh, his hands around like so. You can also just swap them out for the alternative hands as well as I mentioned earlier. Same articulation in this arm. He's not really moving around at the waist too much. You see he moves around a wee bit. You got an ab crunch right forward, so that's really good. Get him moving about that back as well. His legs, I'm gonna kick out about that much. Back about that much. You can get him moving at the knee about that far back. Uh, oh, and he's got double jointed knees, so you can get his foot back about that much. The short will just restrict it a wee bit. Got ankle pivot, and you can also move the feet backwards and forwards. And of course, it is just the same on this leg here. So there we have it for this Miles Morales figure and I've said pretty much everything I need to say about it. It is a great figure, a bit smaller in size than the Peter figure which means the articulation is a bit different. However, it works well. I really love the sculpt. I really love the fact that they've went for this character look. The colours are fantastic. The sculpting is fantastic. Yeah, once again, a 10 out of 10 figure. And I can't recommend it enough. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. I'll leave the link to my Instagram in the description below where I'll have pictures of this figure up if you want to go and check them out. And just make sure you're subscribed to the channel as well for future figure reviews. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Plastic Guy, and I'll catch you in the flip-flop later. Cheers.